Hey everyone, it's Lindsay and welcome to the Dose of Bliss show. Today I have Amanda Howland. She is the co-founder of Elevate and we cannot wait to share with you her Dose of Bliss today. Can you tell everyone a little bit what you do, what your company is all about? So I'm one of the co-founders of Elevate Sciences, which is a, a company based in Portland, Maine. We make a, a pet CBD product. And we are very proud of that because we're the first company to have done a clinical trial. Our, our motto in the company is the heart and science is better pet health. So we spent several years doing lots of clinical trials. And this year we were able to um, kind of recognize the heart part of our business, which is our Pets in Need project. How do you get into this? Like pet CBD, helping animals. Was there a pivotal <laughs> moment in your life growing up that led you to where you are today? You and you know many people I know are probably similar in that um, I was a kid growing up. If I saw a bird that fell out of a nest, I would come home with it, or any stray animal I would bring home, and just um, I don't know, just always had a great empathy for for animals. And I had uh, planned on going to vet school. I ended up. Um, not going, staying home with, with my children, which was wonderful. So now it's great to be able to bring everything back to, to helping animals. What's the biggest life lesson you've learned from working with animals? Oh, I mean, the love from animals. I mean, it, it, it almost sounds like a cliche, like the unconditional love of animals, but it's, it's so true. You just... That, that loyalty, that devotion. Um, we saw so many things. Uh, one dog who was this little dog, she had been used for breeding and was left abandoned on the street in a rabbit hutch and had been abused and, and used for breeding and was found, another homeless woman um, actually took her from the person that she was with to rescue her and this a uh, little dog had been through so much trauma and abuse in her life. And then when she brought brought this, this dog to us for treatment, she was the sweetest, most loving animal. And she was able to, despite what she'd been through, to still be able to open up and, and trust and know that people, there were good people that could take care of her. People experience trauma and don't have that ability Exactly. The way that an animal can heal, it must be so profound to help these animals and to learn from this and to see these experiences. Right, it was incredible. And we, we found that the human community responded so well in that this particular dog, the woman who adopted her had cancer and wanted to find her another home. So we posted it on our Facebook page and we had you know seven or eight hundred shares of people saying please help this dog find a home so they they sometimes seem to inspire the best in people what do you see people changing or changing within yourself or the people that you work with when they are surrounded by animals like you see people let their guards down around animals there, there's some hidden language that's there that makes us really be vibrate on our truest level when we're around an animal well, especially with pets in need i mean we were talking to we're treating the pets of, of homeless so we're providing free vet care to pets of homeless so we were in the homeless communities and normally it would be a challenge to really try to connect with with the homeless community um hard to have a really um, meaningful kind of conversation but when you have the pets there and you can um, kind of look at each other and laugh over something cute that their pet did, or you start asking them about their pet's history, then people open up and, you know, and they smile and they show their best self. That's amazing. So you have this dream career. You're the co-founder of an amazing business. You work <laughs> with this charity that not only helps people, but also animals and inspires so many. How does, how do you get to do something like that? Because not everyone you meet is doing such amazing work and living their passions? Well, we were, my, um, my partner, Christian and I were pretty, pretty lucky in that so we founded the company together and we had always talked about doing a, having a giving back aspect to our company. And we were so busy, as I said, you know, with science and building the business. And then um, in, 
so we didn't get a chance to do our, our giving back. And then when COVID hit, really in you know February, March, mostly in March, we started talking about now is when we should be giving back. Um, people are suffering, uh, pets are suffering, the homeless are without, uh, or with fewer resources than ever. So it's COVID and this is when we should kind of lean in and and try to try to give back now. So within, I don't know, three weeks, we had put this entire project together, rented a giant 38 foot RV, uh, flew out to California, and we had the RV wrapped and got veterinarians on board who were just the most amazing people. And, um, and then we just, we just started doing it. How'd you do that in three weeks? I mean, it's like, that, <laughs> I talk about manifestation, but it's like, when you're living in alignment with your true self, things happen in three weeks. But I feel yeah. like, you know, my viewers, they're, they wanna learn how to, how to do that. Like, how did this just come together? I mean, I even see you have all these celebrities involved, like Demi Moore, that just, yeah. you know, it seems yeah. like it happened in the snap of a finger. It kind of, it kind of did, really. I mean, we said, we looked at each other, the idea almost came fully formed. Like um, the homeless need help, the pets of the homeless need help. California is where we should be. And we just started like 24 seven. It just honestly seemed like it fell into place. Everyone we talked to, we called to try to get the RV, to get it wrapped, to get veterinarians. Um, everyone just seemed inspired by by the project and and people want to help and if you kind of give them a way to to participate and help um, they will so we found all the pieces kind of fell together and it was a little scary so i would say sometimes you have big ideas and it's scary to really lean into them and and take that leap but and sometimes it won't work out but it's important if you can to, to try to take the leap in something that feels right, but is, is still a little scary. And sometimes it works out even better. Um, did you ever yeah. see, see yourself doing this in the future? Was there something, I know you're saying you were doing veterinarian school and different things before, like, was there something that didn't come together so that this would fall into place for you? Well, I, I do feel like um, not going to vet school and staying home with my three daughters, which is the most wonderful thing in the world, um, and a gift. And then, then now that they're older, being able to kind of come full circle and back into veterinary and, and animal welfare is, is really the most fulfilling thing. You never know what is going to happen. I mean, things can change so drastically in a year. I mean, if you'd asked me six years ago if I'd be doing this, any of this, I would have said, what are you, I don't know, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> um, but we were, um, a lot of both building Elevat and launching Pets in Need was following, you know, believing in my instinct and taking that leap of faith to to try to do something that felt right and wasn't sure weren't sure if it was going to work or not we didn't even know we didn't know if our cbd product was going to be effective and we weren't sure even how we were going to find the homeless communities we committed we were doing it so i'd say do you know do something take a step that makes you need to follow through you have to do yeah. something somehow you figure out how to do it and it's just a, it's scary to take that first step because you don't know what's going to happen but look at all you have accomplished in such a short time you know with the charity and, uh, and your business and everything working yeah. together what is your most proud moment of your career so far oh i would have to say i mean this treating the pets of the homeless and getting Seeing the response that we got from people, I mean, every single day, I just felt um, it, it was really an extraordinary feeling. Because it's hard to, even no matter how much you want to, it's hard to give direct help. And, and this was like looking at people, talking to people every day, changing their lives for the better by changing the lives of their pets. It was just really the most incredible experience. And, mm -hmm. and sometimes people would say, well, if you hadn't vaccinated my pet for me, I would not be able to get into an apartment and I would still be living on the street. So 
just that, that really changing somebody's life for the better, even in a small way. Yeah, you never realize, that's so beautiful, you never realize the small action that has a ripple effect. You, you know, you came in to help yeah. an animal, but by helping an animal, you help the homeless person. And, and you don't even know how that person that you help, what they go off and do. There's like a snowball effect to, to all that we do. Yeah. You know, even like they say, even if you, if you smile at somebody on the street, you can change the course of their day. Mm -hmm. You never know what someone's going through or how it changes something, just the littlest idea, the littlest action. Um, we only have a few minutes left. What's the biggest advice you want to leave people with? Follow your heart is, um, is one thing. Don't be afraid to take, take the leap. And I think your head can talk you out of things. Like your brain can rationalize things why you shouldn't do, do something, but you should listen, listen to your body. If you mm -hmm. get, you know, you feel excited, then maybe, it, then maybe it's a good choice. And, and I think that's an important, important part of part to listen to. And everyone will get behind it too. So if people want to get involved with what you're doing and they want, they're sitting watching and they're like, I want to make a change during this time. Where do they go? How do they follow you? How do they help? And our website is elevatesciences.com. And we are going to, we had such an incredible experience. We are going to be launching, um, a full-fledged nonprofit and having these vans all over the country as permanent giving back mission. So we would love to have people sign up for our newsletter so we can keep you informed. There are so many people that reached out to us and wanted to help and come out and volunteer or just just see how the project was going. So we'd love to. Love to That's so amazing! Watching. Just in the short amount of time, it's become a huge thing, a, a huge movement. I can't wait to uh, see how it goes. Thank you. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank you so much for, for coming on the show and thank you for sharing your dose of bliss. Sure. Well, thanks for having me. Yeah, thanks. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>